I went to the Money Web Money Expo last year, 2016, which was held in Sensing Convention Center. I was a bit tricky to convince, but yeah, at the end, I actually signed up. <laughs> the 50 rand is a value money, I uh, guess. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so that was like the biggest incentive for you? No, actually, there's more to it, you know, in terms of costs. Uh, you guys charge like 64 cents per trade or per 100 rand that I invest on the stock market. So the cost side of it actually that's what attracted me to the company. And the fact that you get uh, an easy equities account, one where taxes are applicable on that account, and then you get a tax free savings account, which, is, uh, auto when, which you automatically get when you sign up with easy equities and the demo account. And I found the site easy to actually use you know, in terms of navigation around the site. It's much easier to use compared to what other brokers are offering out there. I don't know, we're chatting a few seconds ago, right? And we're talking about creating generational wealth. Yeah. And I come from a difficult background. So growing up, I didn't have most things. Uh, so I had to find another way of creating a second income. Yeah, I'm from Zim. So I came from Zim in 2004. Then I moved there permanently. Then uh, I was in grade four at the time. So I've been in SA yeah, since 2004, then completed my primary here, high school, and varsity, yeah, finally done. Then <laughs> start with ETFs, they're easy, they're cheap. <laughs> I've actually made a few mistakes you know, in terms of, yeah, I didn't diversify my portfolio the way I should have because this, when I started, I actually had exposure to like three miners, and they were booming at the time, but then when they crashed, the whole thing just, yeah, they crashed. <laughs> so what actually attracted me to investing was, I used to work in retail, right? I was working for this, let's call it Company X. Okay. And Company X paid me 700 rands during that week. I think it was on a Thursday. And on that Sunday, when I looked in my bank account, my bank balance was like 200, and I couldn't actually trace where the other 500 went. Yeah. So then something, triggered in my mind like what am I doing with my money I'm actually wasting my money so then I started searching for ways to invest in stocks and because I've studied uh, become economics it only made sense to actually apply what I learned in class so let me just apply it in real life in terms of cost like I'll go back to cost again you know, I had an account with uh, another company, let's call it Broker X, right? So they were charging me 90 bucks per trade. They also charged me a monthly account maintenance fee of 90 bucks, which is quite a lot. And if you look at that 90 bucks over 10 years, that's actually a quite large uh, sum of money. But with easy equities, 64 cents is really close to nothing. Like, you can't even buy a suite with 64 cents. So. <laughs> Well, it's quite broad. What I want to do is actually to open a stock market that will actually challenge the JSC. And uh, the aim is actually to base the stock market in a place like Soweto, you know. It's all about bringing the business to the people. Because what I've seen is that, yes, we all have these financial institutions, big, great financial institutions, but they're all based in Hyde Park, in Santin, in Rosebank, in all those poshy places. So why not have a stock market and actually take it to the people and actually get guys who are starting up businesses in the locations to actually come and list their companies on the stock market. Sectors I like, I'm actually investing in ETFs for now. It's cheap, it's easy, like all the work has actually been done for me by the fund managers if I'm correct in saying the fund managers have done the work. So diversification is covered and great exposure you know uh, so what do i actually have in my portfolio now it's about six seven etfs plans for the future to join the company <laughs> <laughs>